Women today waste an alarming amount of time trying to get a small number of guys to notice and prioritize them. So they do a range of dignity lowering activities from making their calendars ultra available to making out early on and even having sex without any strings attached in the hopes of getting more attachment and ultimately commitment from the guy. Not only do these actions typically not work, but they often create the opposite effect that was intended. So today, I want to share what is the number one thing a guy needs to realize to value you, want you, and ultimately commit to you for life. Part of the challenge a lot of women are going through right now in their quest of finding and attracting a high value man, a guy they feel really excited to connect with and spend the rest of their lives with, is that they are prioritizing qualities and virtues without knowing that there's gonna be an incredibly essential, crucial, vital prerequisite, regardless of the qualities, which is he must be interested in two things, in pursuing her, and in the same type of relationship she's looking for. Because guess what happens when you invest a lot of time with someone who's not really into you, who's not pursuing you. It's similar to investing hours and hours trying to find the perfect home. And then you start making offers on this home and even start measuring and you figure out how where your room will be and the type of furniture you're going to get. But it's a home that's not for sale. A different analogy would be, Imagine that you've been searching your entire life for this exotic pet that you once saw in a movie. And then you find after 10 years of search that this exotic pet is extinct. <laughs> so you've been investing your time on the wrong pet. So similar to that. And if you get nothing else from this video, but this message is you cannot want it more than he does. No amount of your awesomeness, your light, your greatness, your values, your boundaries, your magic is going to overcome a man who isn't interested in pursuing you or in the similar relationship that you're, that you're going for right now. So I'm going to share the number one thing a guy needs to know grasping his heart and soul to be able to commit to you for life. And that is he needs to get to the point where he values your awesomeness, your connection, your light, your uniqueness more than he values his old definition, his bachelor definition, his selfish definition of freedom, which is I can do what I want with whom I want uh, at any point in time. That's a very selfish juvenile definition of freedom that most men have at some level in their lives. Many guys transcend that, but here's the bad news. Some guys will not transcend that. Some guys will be the eternal George Clooney until he finally got married, but will never get married. So the thing you want to do is make sure that in the quest of you finding someone, in the quest of you connecting with a guy, that you really get a chance to understand his value system and that you get a chance to see if this is the type of guy, because not every guy is, who will be willing to value that meaning he gets and derives from the relationship more than the meaning he derives from his old ways of doing things. In other words, he needs to get to the point where he realizes, I cannot afford to lose her. I don't care how awesome my life is in, in, in the bachelor way of doing things. If I don't have her in my life, my life will suck. Now, easier said than done. What I want to share right now is because if a guy doesn't get to that point where he can't afford to lose you, that he won't commit to you for life. There's going to be a few things that need to take place or can facilitate or expedite, make sure that there's higher likelihood that he will get to the point where he says, I'm willing to commit to you for life. And here they are. Number one, is he needs to feel a sense of aliveness through the connection he has with you. Here's what I mean by that. He's going to need to feel a sense of spark, passion, excitement. He needs to feel more fully alive as a result of what you share than not. There's going to be a quality you bring to the table with the right person that he can't, even if he wants to create on his own. When you have that spark as a result of the connection, the chemistry, the friendship, the things you do together, then he's going to feel a sense of purpose and groundedness that comes from the connection itself. And there's two elements to this, and both are equally important. One is a sense of groundedness, right? Because if you create a sense of aliveness and spark in him of the roller coaster kind, where there's always surprise and adventure, but there's no predictability because he's no idea where you're coming from. He can't commit to that for life unless he's one of those guys who is addicted to intensity. So a guy who is healthy is going to want a balance between the 
groundedness, the loyalty, the friendship that the relationship creates, and also a spark and uniqueness and surprise and spontaneity that add so much value to his life. The second thing he's going to need to experience to get to the point where he feels I can't afford to lose her is a reciprocal adding of value. And let me explain further what this means. That means that you can't be the type of woman who gives, 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 and doesn't receive and expect for the guy to commit to you for life. If you're giving and giving and you're adding value to his life, you're making his life easier, and he's appreciative of that, but he's not corresponding in the same way, guess what's happening? He's not valuing you. Guess also what's another challenge because the opposite problem happens sometimes. He's the type of guy who wants to add value to your life. He wants to make your life easier and better. You might have the fierce independent flag inside of you that comes out and says, no, I don't need you for this. I don't need you for that. I'm not asking you to pretend to be a damsel in distress. No intelligent guy wants that. But here's something any guy, regardless of how awesome and conscious, wants. He wants a woman he can add value to. If he can't add value to your life, if he can't do things that make your life better, he's not sure how he will continue finding his own worth in the relationship. So guess what's going to happen? He's going to lose interest. He's going to lose the ability to make a commitment to life because a commitment to life to a woman he can't add value to means feeling miserable about himself. Call it selfishness. Call it insecurity. However you want to frame it is guys are going to want to add value to your life. Now, here's the caveat. You'll connect with a bunch of guys who are more of the toxic mindset of just receiving. And a guy who is of that toxic mindset is going to be really happy with just receiving. And that's not what you want. You want to make sure that in the connection, in the path along your relationship, there's going to be a very similar, not exactly equal, back and forth where you're really opening your heart and receiving from him. And when you're also adding value to his life, the third thing he's going to need from you, which is sometimes counterintuitive, is he's going to want for you to say no to him. He's going to have, need you to have standards. Here's why. Because when you have standards, you allow him to be centered in such a way that he knows how to move along to offer you what you need and also how to move along in the relationship. He also is going to value you more when you're the kind of woman who can say no or F no times, right? Without being disrespectful, here's the things I need. Here's my values. Here's my morals. Here's the things I value in life. So I understand that you want this. Here's what I'm willing to do. And here's where I'm not willing to do. If you don't do that out of fear of losing him or out of fear th him thinking less of you, you're creating the opposite effect that you're intending to create. Now, another caveat here, there's going to be plenty of guys who are happy with you not having standards. A guy who's happy with you not having standard is a guy who wants to manipulate you, who wants to have his way or the highway. That is the wrong type of fit for you. So if you have standards, if you have boundaries, if you're clear about your needs, a guy is going to know where he stands, number one. Number two, going to understand that you are someone of value that he needs to be better continually through life to be able to get, to attract, and to connect with. Now, before I share my last two points today, which are highly important to consider, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not clear yet on what's the number one reason you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every walk of life you can imagine every continent and every kind of love challenge you can think of to attract the ideal relationship that you're looking for in a fraction of the time. What you can do right now, if you want to participate in this quiz, is go to the first link in the description. Down here, you'll see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions, and in about 60 seconds, you'll have two things. The answer to the question, why you're still single, and a report that's going to share with you for your specific blind spot, what's the number one thing you can do starting today? to reverse the trend you're on and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. What is the fourth thing he needs to experience to value you and realize he can't afford to lose you? He needs to know you have options. Why? Because if the guy thinks that it's him or no one, then he might be far less likely to take action in a way that's meaningful for both of you. So how does this happen? I'm never asking women to play stupid games or to try to create some false sense of jealousy because I think that backfires and that's not something you'd want from him. But what you do need to do is to make sure that when you are connected to him, that you have that inner stance of knowing that this is not your only option for happiness. He's not your ticket to freedom. If he's not willing to do the things that will create fulfillment for both of you, not just for himself, then you need to know that 
there's other guys out there out of 4 billion men on the planet. It may not be fun to put yourself out there again. It may not be exciting, but there's a possibility that somebody else will want you. Now, how else do you create this? Well, when you're out and about, he needs to understand that you bring it, right? So again, not asking you to flirt with strangers. I'm asking you to bring your light, not dim it, and make sure that he recognizes in you entering spaces that without forcing it, you being your natural you, that there's other human beings who are attracted to you. There's other human beings who are excited to see you in their presence. When he notices that without you safeguarding him, but also without you trying to force a situation of jealousy, then he understands that he needs to step up to the plate. The last thing he needs to understand to know he can afford to lose you is that similar to the one before, but more specific, you can and will walk away if the situation, the relationship doesn't reach the stages that you're both intending. Why? Why is this? Because sometimes guys need to lose a woman to wake up the reality that they really want something. Hopefully your situation is not one that will reach that stage, but he needs to know and you need to know that you can walk away. When you can walk away, you can be clear about your needs. When you can walk away, you can be clear about your boundaries. When you can walk away, you're not suffering or putting extra neediness in the relationship because you know that it, at the end of the day, you need to convince him and force him and twist his arm. It's not the best fit for either of you. Hope this is helpful and useful. And if it is, it would mean the world to me and to my channel because this is how I grow and reach other women who need my help. Click like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation games or stupid techniques, then make sure to watch the next video right here.